Okay, well, we might as well get started. And then I'm sure if people join, they won't miss too much at the beginning. Um, thank you so much for joining me this evening for this webinar on Santorini, Mozambique. Um, we are actually really excited because it is 10 years of Santorini, Mozambique in 2023, which is amazing. Um, the property has only gotten more, more beautiful um, and more established um, in this last 10 years. Some of the staff have been um, on board since the beginning, um, and it really shows um, in just the absolute passion that they have here um, for the property and for the area as well. So um, we're really excited to celebrate that with them this year. Um, just to let you know, the webinar will be recorded as always. We will be uploading it to our YouTube channel um, and we will also be sending out the recording in a follow up um, in the next couple of days or so. Um, and that will include the recording and then also things like rates and fact sheets um, and images. So you have everything you need to start selling Santorini. Um, please put questions in the Q&A and I will get to them at the end. Um, I aim to answer all your questions then. And then, of course, if there's anything you think of after the webinar, please do feel free to pick up the phone or send us an email. And we're always happy to, always obviously happy to chat about Santorini. Um, so let me take you there now. So Santorini is situated just north of Villanculos, so about 25 minutes drive from Villanculos town and from the airport. Um, and it's really easily accessible from South Africa. So um, particularly, I mean, to get here, you would route through South, South Africa anyway. Um, and a lot of people add it on to a South African or a Southern African itinerary. So to fly from Johannesburg is about an hour and a half. Um, Nelspruit is just a bit shorter. Nelspruit is in the uh, Kruger. So that's a really easy kind of bush and then add on the beach. Um, and it's so much closer than heading off, say, to Mauritius or somewhere like that. Um, very beautiful, but it's just that bit further. So this is really easy. And then you just route back to Johannesburg to fly out internationally. So we're just a 25 minute drive from the airport and we are on the mainland overlooking the Basaruto archipelago. Um, so it's really convenient. Um, you're within 25 minutes, you can be on the beach, um, which is just so lovely. And the islands that are sort of um, we overlook um, have got really beautiful properties there and they are really lovely. But um, you do have to get a helicopter transfer over, which is quite expensive and also just adds an extra leg to the journey. It's beautiful, um, but uh, is just that, you know, extra bit added on. So if you have got guests who want to be on the mainland, want that bit more convenience, you can also really, um, you can really experience real Africa when you're on the mainland. So you can go into the local village. Um, you can see the fishermen um, fishing, you know, just down from our beach as well. Um, so it is you do really still feel like you are in Africa when you are at Santorini. Um, so we have a private airport lounge in Villanculos Airport. This is really handy, particularly when you're flying out. Generally, when you arrive, once you've got your visa and everything, um, there is somebody there waiting for you. There's not really much downtime at all. Um, but on the way out, it is very nice to be sat in a lovely, comfy lounge, have your complimentary Wi-Fi. There's air conditioning in here and it's a very nice, comfortable place to, to hang out uh, as you leave. So the villa um, is split really into the property split into three villas. So we've got the main villa here in the center, which is five bedrooms and operates kind of like a uh, sort of boutique hotel. And then we have got Villa de Praia and the chapel. So Villa de Praia is our three bedroom exclusive use villa and the chapel is our two bedroom exclusive use villa. The main villa can be bought out um, exclusively as well. Um, and I'll go through kind of rates towards the end that I have got the rates in this presentation. So we'll look at the main villa first. So this is the view actually really from all the villas. You get this incredible view of Kingfisher Bay uh, and those beautiful red cliffs. Um, and it is really just stunning here at all tides. This is actually low tide, um, which I actually think is more beautiful, particularly at sunset um, or sunrise. Um, and this is the view uh, taken on an iPhone. So this is really what it looks like. Um, and it was taken a number of years ago on an iPhone. So it's not one of those you know, flashy new ones. Um, we are set into the cliffs. So it is a walk down to the beach down steps. Um, so that's one thing to consider. Once you're down on the beach, we have got cabanas down here. It's very comfortable. There's um, loos down here as well. And also um, a shower too. So, and it's fully staffed. So it's really lovely. Um, you can just spend the whole day down here. You don't feel like you have to be sort of going back up to the villa the whole time if you if you don't need to. 
Um, we are actually redoing the cabanas as well. Um, in February, the resort shuts for the property shuts for two weeks and we'll be redoing the cabanas then as well. So a few things getting a facelift that happens every year. And that's really what's ensured that the property has stayed so, so beautiful over the last 10 years. So it looks brand new still because they had that few weeks in February every year to just do those little facelift things. And of course, we did have COVID as well. So that um, that did mean that a lot of maintenance was done then. So the main villa is kind of centered around this beautiful big pool. As you can see, um, hence the name, it does look a lot like Santorini in Greece and it somehow really works here. Um, you might be in the heart of Africa, but you're set into the beautiful cliffs. It's that gorgeous white kind of Cycladic style um, of architecture um, overlooking the beautiful blue ocean and blue skies. So it does have elements of that kind of Greek style to it. Um, and also, this area gets a lot of cyclones um, actually at this time of year. So this is a really sturdy um, way of building and has ensured that the property has well stayed standing for the last 10 years, um, even through those cyclone seasons. So we have also got um, a beautiful big lounge area and also a TV room. So you'll see that there's actually quite a lot of different places to hang out um, in the resort, which means that um, even when it's full, I mean, it's only five rooms, but even when it's full, there's lots of different places for guests to kind of, you know, seclude themselves. They don't have to feel like they're kind of on top of each other ever. We've got this uh, pool at the front as well, which is just simply stunning at, um, at sunrise. Um, it's absolutely beautiful. And then we've also got this, the sala dining area, which is upstairs. It's near um, our sala bar. And what's lovely about this is that you're raised um, up and you can uh, watch the sunset because we are East Coast, obviously. We don't get the sunset over the water, but it's really lovely. You can watch the sunset over the, over the, uh, over the land from this sort of vantage point. Then we have the sala bar. So this is actually a really lovely area for in the evenings, just before dinner, guests can actually um, interact with other guests here so they can have a chat um, with other guests staying. It's a nice sort of social area. We really love it up here. Um, and again, you get to watch the sunset because we are sort of that um, higher up level. We've got our cellar and bar, which is very well stocked. Um, so you can sort of choose from almost anything in here. Um, and then we've also got a, a little bar and dining area, which this kind of um, kitchenette kind of bar area really just out, just makes you feel really at home. You can just walk in here, you can help yourself to water, you can help yourself to a drink or a coffee, and you can just make yourself at home. And that's kind of the first thing they tell you when you arrive here is just be at home, help yourself. There are staff everywhere if you if you need them, but just, you know, you can swan around the place like it's your home. And it is really, really lovely. And it just gives you that such a warm feeling. We've got the... Um, the main kind of uh, shop area and this is also the reception as well so this is actually being extended in some of our um, renovations that are happening in February so the shop and kind of reception area will be bigger and the front, front kind of desk reception if you will will be manned at all times so there'll always be a member of staff there. So we've got five suites in the main villa. Santa Carolina suite is the largest and it's kind of like the honeymoon suite it is absolutely stunning exquisite views over the ocean um, and it is absolutely enormous and then we also have the four other suites so uh, they are all named after the different islands in the Bazaruto archipelago uh, and they are all just equally beautiful so they are slightly smaller than Santa Carolina that's why it's kind of considered our kind of honeymoon suite and they're common rated um, all have a lovely uh, sort of balcony area and a view over the ocean as well. And as you can see, they all have that really similar kind of just beautiful kind of whitewashed interior design that's really um, just really plain and simple and calming um, and just lets those beautiful colours from outside the greens and the blues um, really come into the room. So um, in terms of that, actually um, downstairs, as you um, walk through, the, they're all kind of set off all the rooms in their own sort of separate locations. But there are two that are quite close to one another and they work quite well if you're wanting something sort of similar to like an interleading room. Um, we don't allow children in the main villa, but if you've got maybe a family with um, older children, um, like I'm thinking sort of early 20s or two couples traveling together, it's quite nice having those two rooms um, that are next to each other. 
Um, so on to our exclusive use villas. We've got the chapel, which is our two bedroom villa and the Villa de Prior, which is our three bedroom villa. Now these all have their own private pool. They allow children of any ages. So we don't have children in the uh, main villa. But these villas we allow children in and um, they're private pool, private beach access, and they are all sort of pr privately hosted, um, included in the rate. So the two bedroom villa, the chapel, this is sometimes actually used by honeymooners as well, because it is really nice that it's completely secluded and, and by itself. Um, it's got the two uh, beautiful big suites. And then also a lovely dining area and lounge area with, again, stunning views over the archipelago. We then have the Villa de Prior, which is three bedrooms. So it's got the third bedroom is actually downstairs, so just down here. And that is accessed uh, separately from the, the rest of the villa. So it's quite nice for maybe multi-gen families or families with kind of, if you've got sort of different ages of children and things like that, it's quite nice to put sort of either older kids and teens down there or sort of grandparents if you're traveling with them. So it, is, it adds that nice option. It does also have sort of a single kind of pilot's room, um, which is quite good for a nanny or kind of an extra person traveling, kind of a single traveling. Um, and it has, again, of course, got a private pool and beautiful big outdoor dining area, lovely indoor dining area as well. Um, and then the three lovely big suites. So in terms of activities here, Obviously, it is very centered around the ocean and the islands and the water. Um, and so we do include a complimentary excursion out to Magruk Island. Um, it's a complimentary day trip. So you can sort of leave about 9.30 in the morning. You're back by sort of 3.30 in the afternoon. And this is a whole day out. It is kind of, I suppose, making up for the fact that we're not on the islands. So guests get that opportunity to get out onto the islands. They can go snorkeling. They have this beautiful beach picnic that's set up on Margaret Island as well. So that's included for every three nights stay. We rarely get guests staying less than three nights, to be honest. And we also do run a four for three offer. So usually guests are staying kind of four nights. Um, during this excursion, you can go snorkeling and also diving if that's something that you uh, do. And um, we, we have, do have the opportunity to see dugongs here. So it's not kind of guaranteed, of course, but um, when Anita was out there with a group um, just actually pre-COVID, um, they got to see a dugong and we do see them sort of here and there. So that is, you know, keep your eyes peeled because you may see them. Um, this is kind of a bit of an overview of which activities are included and excluded. Of course, I will be sending you all of the kind of information to do feel that you need to memorize this but included is things like the stand-up paddle boards and the kayaks which we provide and then also the kind of beach um beach sport kind of games we've got gym baskets in all of the um in all the villas and then um we also do beach picnics for breakfast or lunch down on the beach so that is just I, for breakfast i think it's absolutely perfect head down you're under a cabana you sit there having your breakfast it's like the most amazing way to to start the day um and then in terms of excluded activities it's a great location for kite surfing we can do horse riding as well um and there's diff various different sort of boating excursions too so as i said you've got the stand-up paddle boards and the kayaks included in the rate um horse riding is done through um a an outfit in villanculos they are actually of the family that brought the horses over from zimbabwe they um i'm pretty sure it's called 104 horses the book um and they came over from zimbabwe during the troubles there and had had a lot of people flee and leave their horses with this family and they then took them all over the border and they now run um, this horse, horse riding um, operation from um, Villanculos. So you can ride along the beach, which I just think is one of the most beautiful activities. Um, we It's great conditions here for kite surfing. So um, it's quite sort of shallow and flat for quite a while in the bay. Uh, and we have great sort of a sort of year round breeze, which kind of keeps the temperature quite sort of consistent, which is very nice. Um, and so it is really great conditions for kite surfing. We have our Dow. It's really lovely to head out on the Dow at sunset. We can go deep sea fishing, which is um, quite a big one for Mozambique. So guests can head out on a, you know, almost a full day uh, of deep sea fishing and also diving. So there are some incredible dive sites um, around um, on the various different islands. So guests can head out uh, and explore, you know, as, as far or as near as they like. 
Um, we have, as I said, gym baskets and yoga mats in all the villas. So guests can are more than welcome to make use of these. Uh, and then we also do have our boat excursion. So we've got Aphrodite and then we've got um, a slightly smaller uh, mini Aphrodite and guests can charter one of these and head out um, on the boats. We do also offer scenic helicopter flights. So these are run from Villancoulos, so from the airport. So again, it's only 20 to 25 minute drive from the property and you can head out, especially those guests who maybe would really love to see, um, you know, see the archipelago from the air. I mean, it's absolutely beautiful flying in um, on a helicopter, even more stunning. So um, guests can head out on a, on a scenic flight. They have two, um, two suppliers who do the uh, helicopter flights. I'm pretty sure one is significantly cheaper than the other. Um, so do inquire through our reservations. Um, Christian Reservations is amazing and she'll be able to help arrange those sorts of things we do recommend arranging things like um, the external activities before arriving um, on the property but you know anything can be done and we can certainly make it happen if guests find out about certain activities when they arrive we've got our spa which is kind of set off by itself so it's really lovely and private and actually has a little section a little outdoor area with a pool as well to relax in after your treatment so um, a sort of sum up of why Santorini is so amazing. Um, first of all, the team, as I said at the beginning, some of the team have been with the with the property for, um, the, for the last 10 years. Uh, the, the whole team is so passionate, so attentive. The experience here is so completely bespoke um, and they just do, yeah, come to, come to you for your every need and they are just wonderful. And those smiles are on all the time. Um, it is brilliant for families here. So with those two private um, villas, it's really easy to have families of all ages here. And we do have reduced rates for children um, and also different activities as well. So the owners, Vanessa and Graham, they're very, very involved. Vanessa actually did all the interior design of the property. Um, and they have grandchildren who are around sort of, I think between the ages of about nine and 13. And so they have you know catered for them to come and visit as well so there is um activities for children of, of many different ages here it is an all-inclusive offering so when i show you the rate in a little while um that is an all-inclusive rate so that includes all um you know uh, meals and snacks um alcoholic beverages and, and non-alcoholic beverages and also the airport transfers as well so it includes absolutely everything and also laundry services so if guests have come from a safari and do need a little bit of laundry doing they can have that done here as well. Um, so the food here is amazing. Of course, being in Mozambique, we get incredible seafood here. So the seafood is incredible. But also the um, management couple who have been at the property for many, many, many years, um, they um, he has um, was previously a chef. And he oversaw all the cooking at the beginning and he's now handed it over and they have a fantastic um team but he does oversee um, in a sort of a executive chef kind of position um all of the food um, and uh, he previously got um properties in south africa up to uh, relay and chateau standards so the standard of food is really incredible um and you know a lot of guests kind of really rave about it afterwards particularly as the kind of best food they've had on their whole holiday so it is really, really lovely food and the freshest seafood. Um, and then we also have our organic vegetable garden. Uh, the villa tries to uh, source as much of their produce as possible from this garden. Um, and generally the food that you're eating is very, very seasonal um, because of this and because of the kind of sourcing from the surrounding area as well. Um, and we can set up lunch in the vegetable garden. So it's a really lovely spot. Um, on a, a beautiful summer's day um, and to have, yeah, to have lunch out here. We then also have got Paraiso Escondido. So this has been an addition since COVID that we've um, added in. And it's this lovely sort of Boma-like area um, that can be kind of taken privately. Um, that we can set up dinners here or guests can come here in the day and have lunch, especially guests, maybe honeymoon guests, particularly who are staying in the main villa and want just a private area with pool all to themselves. They can take this for the day. Um, and it is also a really beautiful place to have dinner because you look up and because you're in that sort of boma like sort of shape and you look up and the stars are just incredible 
And we also have got things like um, guests get their own glass water bottle on arrival. They can ha they have that refilled the whole time. They get a pair of flip flops when they arrive as well, um, which are so comfortable. I wear them all the time. Um, and uh, yeah, little little extras like that. Um, so Santorini has um, kind of formalized a lot of their kind of uh, social responsibility initiatives. Um, and we we. We helped them formalize this during COVID. Um, and so they now have their Santorini Footprints Initiative, which is kind of all of the um, sort of enterprising kind of initiatives that they're doing with the local um, area. So they um, support the uh, primary school. And then they also have their kind of beach cleanup campaign. Um, and guests are really encouraged to get involved with those things as well. And so they can head out and visit the local village. They can visit local primary school. Um, and it's also just really nice to see kind of where you are and get an idea of the kind of you know a sense of place uh, when you're at Santorini. So at the moment in terms of entering Mozambique we've just had a little bit of an update from the from the villas. Um, in terms of passport validity I think it's pretty much the same as it always has been. You need six months on your passport from the date of exit of the country and also three free pages in your passport and um, they do put a big old visa in there so you need a whole a whole page for that visa. Um, you also, in terms of tourist visas, you are encouraged to get these on arrival. There is a new e-visa system, but it has a lot of teething problems and guests are encouraged. It's still just as easy to get it on, on arrival um, or in fact much easier because that system is just kind of going through those sort of early teething issues, sort of teething phases. And then in terms of COVID-19 requirements, there is still requirements to get into Mozambique. Uh, and that is um, either a vaccination certificate um, or a, a negative PCR test. So those are things to think about when coming to Mozambique. Obviously, keeping an eye on those COVID-19 requirements, we're kind of hoping they're going to be dropped within the next few months, but we, of course, can't guarantee anything. Um, and now a look at the rates. So uh, as I said at the beginning, you can, um, there is the sort of rate for um, the whole main villa, and then um, three of the suites are common rated as well. Then we have the chapel um, and also Villa de Praia. Now I will send you these rates, as I said, in the follow-up. And then we also have our promotion. So we've got the four for three offer, and then we also have our honeymoon offer as well. Um, and then we have some packages with um, other properties. So uh, we teamed up with Rockfig Safari Lodge uh, and we have our honeymoon combination where one partner gets 50% off at both properties. And then we also have the stay eight, pay six um, when you book four nights at each property. Uh, we then also have partnered with Chilo Gorge as well. So we do also have an offering there. So that's book the nine day and eight nights um, and you only pay uh, 400 per person on the private charter between the two, um, between the two properties. So I will end on a video of the property. I'm hoping that the sound works on this. Um, if it doesn't, I will be sending you, it is just beautiful music um, and I'll be sending you this um, this video afterwards.
Awesome. So I just love that video. Makes me want to go there right now. Um, so this is also a really just lovely review we just had that I've just popped in this presentation because it just everyone was so warmed by it. Um, we had just this beautiful review um, from a honeymoon couple who stayed here at the end of their trip um, and they just I mean this was just this just a sort of snippet of um, a much longer review and they just really just raved about the property um, and really actually said everything that I kind of said I mean I traveled by myself um, but I, everything I kind of said when I left as well is just how um, completely bespoke and just how special it feels when you're at the property and so I think that's just a really nice note to end on. Um, I would love to know if you guys have any questions at all for me. Um, if you do, then I can answer them now. If you think of any after the fact, then do please, um, as I said at the beginning, just pop us a message, um, send us a um, send us an email or give us a ring. Um, and we are more than happy to go through any questions you might have. Um, but in short, Santorini is a fantastic beach add on, particularly after a South African safari, I think, um, because it is just so easy to get here. Um, we've got that brilliant four for three offer. And it's so convenient being on the mainland, you can, you know, leave Johannesburg and within kind of two and a half hours, you're you know, at the property. And so it really does. Um, yeah, it really does feel uh, very convenient. And you still feel like you're in Africa, which I think really feels important to me. Um, if I've been on a safari, I want to still feel like um, I am in Africa. Um, if that was, yeah, if that was the intention of my trip. So thank you so much for joining me this evening and making the time. Um, we will be sending out the follow up with um, everything you should need to start selling Santorini. Um, and if you ever have any questions about um, this property or any, um, please let us know. Thank you.